What's going on guys, my name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a great free video editing software for Windows 10. And that great free video editing software for Windows 10 that we're gonna be talking about is Filmora. Filmora is a great video editing program that is created by Wondershare. The link is gonna be down below in the description. Without further ado, guys, I'm gonna be working you through a brief overview of how to actually install this, open it up, and start putting together a basic composition. Like I said, that link is gonna be down below in the description if you wanna go ahead and download Filmora. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, go ahead and uh, go to the link I will link down below in the description. This will take you to the Film Aura Wondershare website where basically you can just go ahead and get a free download for this particular video editor. I'm not actually gonna go through the download because I have actually installed it right here where I will now go ahead and close Google Chrome and open up Film Aura. Now, this, as I previously stated, is a free video editor for Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, all the newest versions of Windows this is going to be very compatible for. There's over 60,000 people actively using Filmora currently and a lot, a lot of good reviews. Personally, I'm just going to work through this video editor, piece together a little composition for you. Um, I've actually had a little mess around. I'm not gonna reload any previous stuff that I've done. We're just gonna start from scratch. So when this go ahead and, uh, and, and opens up, go ahead and select full feature mode. This is gonna give you access to everything and then go ahead and wait for the actual browser to load up. And just like that, Filmora has loaded up. Now, it looks like Filmora has actually saved some clips that I imported from a little mess around that I did previously. However, I'm not gonna go ahead and delete these because this can actually help me with my current video I'm just gonna work through right now. But to actually import new clips, guys, the process would literally just be to go up here to import, to import, and then just go ahead and find your media. For example, I'll just show you, I'll just import a random clip. Boom, let's just import that one. And you just select the clip, then wait for it obviously to work itself into Film Aura. Boom, just like that. Now. The way I want to do this edit right here, just to show you guys a rough idea, is I want to put together a composition, sync to music, and then go ahead and add some filters and some transitions and some effects and uh, text to it. So first off, I'm going to bring my instrumental or my beat in here, and I'm actually going to go ahead and drag this in a little bit. You can actually go ahead and adjust how zoomed in you are by dragging at the top or by going over here to the zooms. But you see how we have this build up right here? You see the security guard? Um, clip I like this I'm gonna go ahead and drag the security guard clip and throw that one right here 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 screw it right there <laughs> okay so now I've imported that right if we play this it's too much it's crazy you can't hear the beat in the background you just hear the music that's actually attached to this to mute uh, to mute tracks go ahead and just right click and go to mute now also I want to start this this beat where it can actually um, kind of build up to the drop with this clip right here. So to cut, go ahead and press the cut button and I am just going to adjust my track right here, okay? So boom, I'm gonna cut that, trim that down a little bit. Now if we zoom in, we can see I want this to actually cut right here when the beat starts. So again, just go ahead and trim the end off of that. And then I'm actually just gonna start bringing in other clips to actually start syncing up. And it's very, very simple to sync stuff you see what I'm gonna do is actually just go on these main beats here. So when it actually drops right here, um, it's gonna be this DJ guy. Then I wanna go to this beat right here and go ahead and chop that. Then let's go ahead and select another clip. We can bring in this, this one right here. And we'll go to, again, the next beat itself and just go ahead and chop that. Boom, and then again, with the next clip that we can bring in. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. And yep, you guessed it, go to the next beat and chop that. And now we should have a decent little sequence here. Once this has been chopped, then we can delete that. So now that this is actually here, guys, I'm gonna go straight to the beginning. And just give that a play and see what that's kind of feeling like. Overall, let's give it a play, see how it's playing out. <laughs> Boom. Hold on, my bad. Go ahead and right click all these and uh, and mute them all. I forgot about that. <laughs> all right, boom. Straight back to the beginning. Nice. All 
Oh, I was having a little bit of a glitch there. But boom, that is definitely looking pretty good. Let's have a look, let's pl play that last bit. Boom. So now that is of course synced. Now the next thing I wanna do guys is actually start going about creating a title sequence. So you see how here, it's kinda of like the build up and then it actually drops. I wanna have some text during this build up. Um, and the text I like are the titles because the titles you can actually go ahead and they appear over your actual footage itself. Um, and the cool thing about Filmora is they have a load of pre-animated titles. And the way these work is you can just drag them into the layer down here. Don't be put off if it's below the actual video layers themselves. Go ahead and double click and you will actually be greeted with the text. Now, if we just go ahead and skip this in a bit, you see how it says your headline here, your text here. Double click it and then we can actually go through here and just change the actual text itself. So I could be dope and then go to the next piece of text. Go ahead and highlight that. Dope, edit, next text alert don't edit alert and then this text up here um subscribe um and now if we go ahead and play that guys let's go ahead and just give that a play i'll press okay it animates itself on screen however i think that's tedious it's there for a little bit too long i want it to be nice and quick just before the drop so let's go ahead and actually time this so boom you see how that's that's how long it takes to actually edit on now i want to go ahead and split that take away the end and just go ahead and put that here. So that is gonna edit on just as the beat drops and then it's gonna disperse from the screen, it's gonna go away. Let's go ahead and give this a play and see what it's looking like now. Boom, so I'm sure you guys are seeing what I was going for here. If we go ahead and give this a play real quick, this is definitely looking very, very cool. Boom. Boom, nice, quick, simple title is animated on screen before the beat drops and it jumps into our clip selection. Very interesting, very cool. Honestly, I've just messed around with the first title I saw here, but there is loads and loads of pre-animated titles you can use to actually import. Really just start skipping over the animation process and the text and uh, vid uh, textography kind of process, which is can be a lot of work if you're really trying to animate some, you know, title sequences and stuff. Filmora is clearly taking away the kind of rougher, um, time-consuming process that that could take. And overall, they're just making that much simpler for you. And overall, that is the title overview right there. Pretty much, that is how uh, I would personally go about making a basic composition for this. Of course, go ahead and download this in the description down below, guys. There's loads of nice transitions you can use. I know the, 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 the speed blurs are pretty nice. There's also loads of different filters and, um, you know, just, just certain stuff so you can stylize your edit much nicer. And there's even overlays for stuff like TV static, old film effects, broken blurs all this sort of crazy stuff which you can simply drag on to your edits and then boom it it it, it, it actually pops that into your particular um composition right here so Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed and actually found this interesting and helpful, check out Filmora in the description down below. I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. Have a nice day and goodbye.